Meanwhile, the crackdown on Andrew Tate continues. The Romanian authorities have confiscated luxury cars of the divisive internet personality. The social media personality and his brother are currently serving time in a Romanian prison following charges of forming a criminal gang to sexually exploit women. The spokesperson for Romania's Directorate for Investigating Organized Crime added that Tate's luxury assets could further be used to compensate the victims if he is convicted in a Romanian court. Tate and his brother have, however, denied any wrongdoings. According to a press release by the prosecutors, alleged that at least six women were forced to make porn for Tate's online business and at least one of them was raped. Since his arrest on December 29th, Tate has been held in jail after he lost an appeal to be released from the Romanian jail. He was initially held for 24 hours before a Romanian court ruled that it should be extended to 30 days. Earlier this week, the prosecutors seized at least 15 of his luxury vehicles and more than 10 properties and homes belonging to the suspects in Bucharest, Prahova and Brasov to prevent the assets being sold or hidden. Owning some of the high-end cars, Tate's Rolls-Royce cost at least $300,000. And Tate's brother, Aston Martin's Vanquish S Ultimate, cost around $250,000. Now, day before his arrest, the media sensation involved himself in a Twitter battle with renowned teenage climate activist Greta Thunberg over his sports car collection. Tate, in turn, was hoping to enhance his status by mocking the climate activist. But instead, she burned his ego in nine words. Her reply gained traction very quickly and became one of the top ten tweets of all time. The judge who denied Tate's appeal cited his wealth as the reason for keeping him in jail while the investigation into him carries on. All four defendants in the case lost the appeal and will remain in detention at least through the end of January. They could be held for up to 180 days as per the Romanian law.